How's it going guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're talking about potential flashbacks we could see in FIFA 21. The cheap, fast and reliable foot coins. Check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. Flashbacks are undoubtedly one of my favorite card types of the year. It allows us to have a flashback to a previous FIFA where we've had a sick card. I just like it. It's a nice throwback. So I thought we'd have a look at some potential ones we can get this year and just kind of deep dive into some predictive flashbacks. If you do go on to enjoy the video, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new around here. It's greatly appreciated. And leave a comment down below who you think is getting a flashback this year. If any of you guys get any of these flashbacks right in the comments down below, I'll be sure to feature them in videos when we talk about said flashback. Anyway, let's get into it. Now, there's only one man we can start with. It is Gareth Bale. I have no doubt in my mind EA give this guy a flashback, given the fact that he's gone back to Spurs on loan from Real Madrid. Now, Bale's had a whole host of different items at Spurs in previous FIFAs. I believe this one is from FIFA I want to say 12, I think. I'm pretty sure it's FIFA 12, but it might be FIFA 13. My mind gets fried sometimes looking at the two cards, but I'm almost 100% certain that this is FIFA 12. Uh, anyway, uh, EA could give him a card based on his left mid time at, at Spurs. We could even see a left back flashback for Gareth Bale. I don't doubt that EA will give him some form of flashback, though, given the fact that he has, of course, gone back to Spurs. EA doing flashbacks sometimes a little bit different this year. So I think we'll have just ordinary flashbacks to, say, team of the season or in forms and things like that but given the Vitzel card EA want to give flashbacks to specific areas of players careers when they played maybe a different position or they played a different role for example Vitzel's flashback is uh, a flashback to when he played a more advanced role um, and when he's playing more attacking minded as a midfielder as opposed to defensively minded um, so we could see like a left back Gareth Bale or a left mid Gareth Bale where he's playing more of a uh, defensive role as opposed to an offensive role that is something we could definitely see so I'm interested to see what EA do with a Gareth Bale flashback. I really want to see one though. I think he'd be absolutely fantastic to get Gareth Bale flashback. I think he'll get a really good card this year. To be honest, I see him getting a few informs at Spurs. They're really good this year. Harry Kane is on fire with the assists. Hyungman Son's playing really well. That front three is pretty scary. So I think uh, Gareth Bale will get a bunch of inform cards regardless, but a flashback would be nice. Crazily enough, as I'm recording this video, EA have just dropped a flashback Lauren Koscielny. Com completely randomly, this is a screenshot from Match to Gamer. Shout out Matt. Uh, he posted this on Twitter, but yeah, very interesting. I, I, completely out of the blue, completely random, but there you go. A flashback Lauren Koscielny looks like a really decent card as well. I think that card would be pretty decent. My next prediction is a Busquets. Now, Busquets has not had a flashback, I believe, in a couple of years. So I think Busquets could get a flashback this year. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a card that Busquets had that had decent pace. I would have hoped EA would do a flashback to where he had some like a quicker card, some quicker pace, but Busquets has always had quite low pace every year. But I think you could definitely see a flashback for Busquets. This card could be something we see quite recently as well, uh, as it's not a huge upgrade. Like some of these flashbacks are going to be big upgrades from like team of the season or team of the year items. Whereas this is just a plus three on his normal card anyway, and the stats aren't massively different. Uh, different to his 87 card so i think we could see a flashback uh busquets that looks something like this honestly in the near future i would like to see uh busquets get some kind of flashback card hopefully a card that's decent as well like i would love to have a year where busquets is actually used quite a lot unfortunately he's just always fodder uh, and i feel kind of bad because it's a card that i would love to use if he had just just 70 something pace just enough pace where you can actually utilize him in a cdm position the next one is musa dembele this is a flashback so i want to say fifa 16 team of the season card again sometimes i get the cards mixed up but musa dembele used to be incredibly overpowered in previous fifas and he was a go-to midfielder when he was at spurs so i'm hoping that ea could follow on the belgian link that they're going with with Witzel and maybe give dembele a flashback as in previous years ea have followed the same suit and they've gone okay well we've given this guy a flashback let's give either a teammate or a national teammate or just someone that links a flashback as well so that would be really nice to see Dembele get one as I think it would be a pretty overpowered card unfortunately it is in the Chinese league and there's not that many links that aren't Belgian so I can see it being quite a cheap what a uh, flashback card but would still be really good to use and if you guys are Spurs fans or FIFA fans you remember the FIFA 13 14 15 days or even 17 uh, where he was a really OP starter midfielder in Prem teams 
I hope we can see him get a flashback. I would definitely do the SBC and use him. And from Musa to Usman, we have gone with Usman Dembele now, the second Dembele. Another guy that hasn't really had too many special cards. I actually want to check how many special cards he's had over the last couple of years because... He's one of those guys that had so much potential. He actually had a couple of special cards last year and the year before that, but I, he didn't really get SBC cards. Uh, he had a Summer Heat SBC last year. And then since then, he's really not had SBC cards, unfortunately. Uh, and I'd like to see an SBC for Usman Dembele. Like, he would probably not get this card until late in the year, I'm not going to lie. But I think it would be nice. It would be a nice position change. It would be a nice dynamic to Liga or French League or uh, La Liga teams. I think that he would be massively completed by a large scale of people as that FIFA 17 team of the season card was ridiculously good. I remember it like it was yesterday. I had him up top with, I think, uh, Aubameyang when he was Dortmund still. Um, and I had, uh, I want to say, who was it in midfield? I think it might have been Thiago in midfield, like a team of the season Thiago. It was a ridiculous partnership pairing anyway, uh, and it was really good. So hopefully we can see that again this year. Five star, five star would be really nice. Although, like I said, it would be probably later on in the year we see this card as it is a really high upgrade for him. Another interesting one, we have Jesus Navas. One that I don't think many would predict to get a uh, flashback card, but uh, obviously he's a right back this year. I can see him getting a flashback to when he was a right winger at Sevilla or even maybe his Man City days when he got maybe a team of the season there. Uh, a nice 89 rated card would be really good actually. These stats seem to be pretty similar to the current power curve in my opinion. So he would be probably completed if he was around 100, 150,000 coins in my opinion um, because he's got great pace and dribbling but the shooting's not necessarily amazing. Um, the passing's decent but not necessarily amazing. He would probably fit this game quite well though as a right mid uh, and I think that would give, like I said, another dynamic to different teams. There's not that many amazing right wingers in La Liga this year so would be a nice card to have and I'm hoping that he could get a nice flashback. The next one is Frank Ribéry. Now an interesting fact Ribéry's never had a flashback item which I was quite surprised when I found out about that. Uh, obviously this year he's a centre forward so I could see him getting a winger flashback and I've given him his FIFA 12 team of the year item as a flashback because I think in a few months from now maybe during team of the year time this would be a nice flashback to get. Now last year he had a summer heat and a shapeshifter and I believe the year before that I think he got a carnival card as well. Um, uh, and then uh, the years before that, he didn't really get any special cards. So he's not had a flashback in FIFA before. And I think he definitely could be one that deserves one. Um, he had an end of an era card, I want to say, last year or the year before that as well. But like I said, no flashback could be a card we see. Given the fact that he's had such an insane career. And given the fact that at Bayern Munich, he was one of the best wingers in the entire world. He got team of the year after team of the year. Team of the season after team of the season. This is definitely a, a flashback that I can see happening. I keep wanting to say wants to watch. And I mean say flashback. But yeah, this is a flashback I can see uh, EA giving out to Ribery 100%. And given he's 5-star, five 5-star five this year. Having a card this good would be fantastic for teams in a few months time. He'd be expensive to complete. Don't get me wrong. I can see it being a 500k to a million coin card to complete complete with those stats but would be really really nice and hopefully we can get him now let me know down below in the comments if you think uh you would benefit from going doing this sbc uh that's weirdly worded what i mean is would you do it would your team benefit from having a half a million coin untradeable left mid? Would you put him in the team? Would you have him at strike? What would you do with Ribery if you were going to use him? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, this is definitely something I would do. I'd play him as a cam or a striker. Undoubtedly, he just would look amazing. And now from Ribery to Robben. Now, I went with a man of the match card from FIFA 13. There are a few different cards you can go with for Robben. Now, I went with this one just because I liked the man of the match card item in FIFA 13. I thought it was really, really clean. Um, but I think that EA might do a sort of partnership SBC uh, with Ribery and Robin, maybe release them around the same time and then you complete both of them for like a million, two million coins or something crazy like that because obviously the cards are going to be insane but I would love to see EA do a flashback to the old school winger partnership of Robin and Ribery. That would be incredible in my opinion. They've done something similar before I think with end of an era cards but they've never uh, done like a flashback pairing like that and I think it'd be cool with Remember how we got Crouch and Defoe as that kind of duo? Although I don't think EA would do one SBC for both cards. I think it'd be two separate ones. But it'd be cool marketing for EA. Would be absolute coin sucker for EA as well. They'd suck all the coins up. But I also think that it would be really good for FIFA players because I think they'd both be great on the wings. And obviously, it's a really cool flashback and it brings you back to the old Bayern Munich days. So... In my opinion, Ruby and Robin definitely deserve flashback items this year. And I think we could see both of them getting them. Now, Big Waz has had a flashback item for the last two years in a row. So, yeah, do you want to, you know, kind of... Another year would be pretty cool. I would love to see another uh, flashback Wayne Rooney. 
I'm a big Wayne Rooney fanboy. I grew up watching Wayne Rooney and he was uh, one of our best players when I was growing up watching Man United. I used to love him. He was fantastic as a striker. So I would love to see Wayne Rooney get yet another flashback. I think he deserves it. He's a great player. He's had a great career. Two years in a row. Let's make it three, you know? Uh, that would be pretty cool though. And a card that I would probably use at cam or centre mid. I think last year his flashback at centre mid was really, really OP and he had a great shot on him as well. So I used to use him in a 4 and 2 and 2 narrow. I'm down to do it again, yeah. If you want to bring out a Wayne Rooney, that would be really cool. I would love to see a Wayne Rooney flashback item, 100%. Another guy that deserves a flashback is David Silva. Now, David Silva obviously has transferred to Sevilla uh, from Man City, an amazing career at Man City. He never really got a flashback for Man City, though, which I thought was very interesting. Uh, he got an end of an era premium SBC last year at the end of the year, if you guys remember, but he never got a flashback. So I think a flashback would be great. And also, with how EA want to do them with certain position changes, a left mid flashback would be really, really cool. And looking at this card, this card, in my opinion, is not so ridiculously overpowered to a point where EA wouldn't put it in the game, uh, even like as early as maybe January or, or December. I think that as a left mid, obviously, he hasn't got an, an amazing amount of pace in La Liga as well. Uh, it's not the most desired league, so I can see it being something EA might bring out in the next few months, which I think would be really cool. It'd be on par, in my opinion, with icon swaps and icon SBCs, so I can see it happening. Uh, this would be a sick card to start out at the left wing and then bring into Cam in-game as well, which I think would be really, really cool. And a definitely deserved card. Even as a Man United fan, I can just appreciate the career that David Silva had at Man City. It was unbelievable. He was incredible for the club. He was incredible in the Premier League as well. So, in my opinion, undoubtedly deserves a flashback item. And the last but not least for the video is Thiago Alcantara, someone that I think does deserve a flashback as well. He had an insane career at Barcelona. Uh, sorry, at Bayern Munich. Also had a decent career at Barcelona beforehand. I think that this could be definitely a really nice flashback card to have in the game. Now, I'll give him a flashback to his, I think it's Europa League, uh, sorry, Champions League Man of the Match card from FIFA 17. Um, I actually remember using his team of the season back in FIFA, FIFA 17. It was a 95 rated TOTS card and it was insane. And I can see EA giving Thiago Alcantara a card like this. And the reason why I can see that happening is because this is a flashback to when he had more pace and he was more of an offensive midfielder whereas I think for Liverpool he's, he's not going to be playing defensive he's just going to be playing sort of centralized uh, whereas uh, for Bayern that year he was playing way more at the pitch he was, he was kind of playing on the edge of the area a lot uh, when Bayern were attacking so I can see EA giving him a nice flashback to a card like this which would be really cool and in my opinion would be a sick card to have in the Premier League a five star skill in midfielder with decent pace decent defending decent physical and great dribbling shooting and passing would be really really OP in Premier League midfield but that's it for the flashback I uh, predictions for the first video. I will make another one of these in a couple of weeks if you guys want to see them. Let me know down below in the comments down below who you guys think are going to get flashbacks and if you agree or disagree with any of my predictions. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the big sport and I'll see you lads later.